Hello, Pascal Math Grade 7 teachers. Today we're going to look at 7EE12. Uh, we're going to unpack the standard a little bit, look at some things you could be doing in the classroom, as well as things that students sh should be doing, and anticipate some student misconceptions and how we can address them. So let's go ahead and get started. So the standard itself says, understand that rewriting an expression in different forms in a problem context can shed light on the problem and how the quantities in it are related. For example, a plus 5 hundredths a equals 1 in 5 hundredths a means that increased by 5% is the same as multiplied by 1 and 5 hundredths. And so when we, when we look at that, uh, you see the words shed light on the problem. You know, normally don't see the things like that in our standards, but I think they're looking at the emphasis of unpacking what's really meant. Um, is that understanding piece uh, that's there in the standard. So we want to use equivalent expressions from that prior standard, 70E11, uh, to focus on how writing an equivalent expression can better show a relationship among the terms in the expression. A uh, simple example here is if you have uh, 6x plus 15, well that could be looked at as three groups of 2x plus 5. And so uh, depending on the context, it could mean uh, put a lot more meaning uh, uh, to what each piece uh, in, in that expression represents. And so some things you can do as a teacher. And so uh, some of this will happen in, in unit C for sure, and some of it might have to wait till unit D when we uh, dive heavy into percents. And so uh, it's essential to present students with real world problems so they, they can model that with more than one expression. And so uh, this is an example of a percent one here. So items on sale for 20% off cost 80% of the original price. So to write an expression using x as the original price, so some students can see a, you know, x minus 20% uh, of x equals you know, your new price, but some students might see 20% off as you pay 80%. And they'll write that expression as 80% uh, of x is your cost. And so it depends on uh, the student's perspective there. Uh, we need to allow students to explain their expressions inside of one, uh, one, one another's expressions are equivalent explain how the particular expressions relates to the quantities in the problem. So what the example we just worked through, uh, you know, 1x uh, minus 20% x is the same thing as 80% x. And so those two students, even though they looked at it a different way, would have came to the same uh, equivalent expression when simplified. So some things students need to do is model contextual problems with multiple uh, variable expressions. And so that definitely is, uh, when you're model uh, problems, it should scream math practice four, model with mathematics, and that's a great opportunity for that. Uh, they need to explain orally and in writing, use a precise math vocabulary, how uh, two equivalent expressions relate to the quantities. Uh, that's a great way uh, for math practice three and six to sneak in there as well. So student misconceptions, uh, they might have difficulty seeing uh, expressions are equivalent when they're out of context. And so it's just address this misconception, uh, as with many of the misconceptions, just use context because uh, students can make sense through the, of the math through the context. And so if you were just saying, you know, x minus, uh, you know, 2 tenths x equals 8 tenths x, um, you know, that's out of context and it makes sense. You start putting percents and sales and things like that. Uh, then they can make sense of the situation for sure. So that's it for the standard and short video. If you have uh, any questions, feel free to contact me or your regional specialist. And thank you for making Pasco Math more awesome.